In this help video, we will be discussing how to create a new user account from the logon screen in the MTI Visitor Dashboard. To create a new account, you click on the New Account button under the Customer Login screen on the Visitor Dashboard. When you click on this button, you will be given a new customer registration form. You will notice that certain fields, particularly the first name, last name, date of birth, email, account type, professional license, and the password fields are highlighted with a halo of green. This green halo indicates fields that are required. If your account type is not uh, is a standard visitor, then there is no need to enter the professional license number. But if you select any other account, account type other than visitor, you other than standard visitor, you will be required to enter a professional license or agency name. So, to create a new customer, you would enter in the customer's first, last, date of birth, email, account type, and password to minimally comply with the registration requirements. So I'm going to enter in a user. You can either, with the date of birth, you can either select a date from the calendar by clicking on the calendar symbol and then going back to the date or by entering in the information into the field in date format. Now this information must be separated, must contain a date, uh, a month, a day, and a year separated by slashes or dashes. The email address is required for account registration and for the use of login and, and for keeping up with the information about your account. Uh, this information will not be redistributed to any other companies and will not even be used by MTI for any other purpose than to contact you uh, on issues related to your account. As far as the account type goes, there are actually four different account options. There's a standard visitor, which most visitors would uh, comply with this account type. A standard visitor is just any visitor that is logging on to visit a loved one or a friend in, in a detention facility. An attorney, obviously, is an attorney or a lawyer who is representing an inmate or a group of inmates in a particular facility. A uh, clergy or counselor would be any counseling uh, agency or counselor who is going to be counseling or providing uh, spiritual guidance to a group of inmates. And bonding agent is a bondsman who represents a bonding agency uh, that might be providing bonding support for a group of inmates. If any of the special visitors such as attorney, clergy counselor, or uh, bonding agent is selected, then the professional license number will be required. Uh, the professional license number may also be your agency name. Uh, whatever information is needed to provide the approving facility with the uh, information it needs to know how to, how to evaluate your account. So I'm going to select a standard visitor account type for this user. <clears throat> in the first password field, you'll enter in a password that must be four to, to ten characters long. You'll notice that as I enter in passwords in this, I have to enter in my uh, password again in the second field to confirm that the password that I entered in the first field is accurate and that I've 
it entered in what I intended to enter in. Now, if I enter in an incorrect password, you'll notice that a red halo appears around the uh, second password confirmation field. Uh, to Once I've completely and correctly entered in the password a second time, then both fields will have a red, a oh, green halo around them. Now also, you'll also be asked to check the um, acceptance checkbox for the MTI terms of use and privacy policy. Uh, and you can also click on the link here to click here to read and it will take you to a PDF version of that policy. Uh, you must accept the terms of use and the privacy policy in order to set up an account for use in visiting your loved one. Once you've read and accepted that privacy policy, then you can click the submit button to create the new account. Uh, if you click the cancel button, then you will return to your um, logon screen. When you hit the submit button, you will receive a message stating that your account has been cre created successfully. Now, at this point, your information must be evaluated and approved by an MTI account agent. Once it's approved, you will receive an email letting you know that your account is now activated and, and uh, able to be used. Uh, it takes relatively um, a few hours. Um, we allow for four business hours. Please allow for four business hours for the account to be approved and uh, allotted so that you can use it. This has been a help video on how to uh, create a new user account.